with this, I am going to start off with the front of the vending machine. So I'm going to put this one here to the side. And basically, I am going to start peeling away the backing sheet and start applying to the vending machine. With this here backing, uh, backing sheet, it's very thin, so I'm going to be very careful not to cut the front. I'm just going to do a very slight score in the back just so that I can start here in the corner to pull this here uh, really thin layer of protective like mylar type sheet away. Now, once I do that, it exposes the adhesive part. I am going to basically flip it over and apply it to the boards. I'm going to go all the way up to the top as close as possible. And now I'm going to flip the back and start pulling away this here plastic mylar liner and start rubbing it down. When you're pulling it, you want to try to grab all of it at one time. All right, so how I have this sheet all together, what I'm going to do now is kind of make sure that nothing is bending. And I'm going to get this sheet and rub it down. And as I'm pulling, I'm rubbing the front to make sure that it's smooth and straight. All right, so before I get started, I'm gonna get my cutting mat and make sure that I'm pressing down on the cutting mat because I do not want to ruin my table. I'm gonna grab my ruler. line it up and basically I'm just going to follow the side of the vending machine and cut away the board. I am using a scalpel. This here is my cutting knife of choice and just like that just break that away and put it to the side now what i'm going to do is go around the whole entire vending machine just cutting it off away from the foam board all right so this is what i have right now being that i have made this vending machine here with feet or should i say with legs I am just going to basically cut around this area, getting that foam off so that it can um, stand as, uh, be shown as leg. All right, so this is what the front's looking like. Now let's go ahead and do the back. All right, so now that I have the back and the front cut out, I'm gonna put the back to the side and start working on the front. Being that I'm gonna make this here vending machine into an open door, I'm gonna start off by just cutting the inside of the window frame out, and then I am going to cut around the actual frame. So this would be the border, 
If you don't want that, cut all the way around here. But if you want to um, leave it, just cut within it inside. All right, so now that I have the front cut out, I am going to apply my window. I do have a piece of acetate sheet that I will be using for the window. And basically, I'm going to line it up, see how, where I need to cut it. And cut this here excess piece off. I'm going to cut off some of the bottom as well. How I like to apply my acetate sheet on is using some double sided tape. Keep in mind all the supplies that I am using today will be in the description box. And I'm just going to outline the sides. I don't like to use the hot glue in particular because, you know, the acetate sheet is clear and thin. So as you um, pressing the acetate sheet against the glue, the glue starts smearing. And basically, if you're going to have this, your vending machine as an open door, you will see that glue when they open it. But, and not just that, when you press down, that glue is hot. So, I like to do it this way for a more cleaner look. Alright, so this is what the front of the vending machine looking like. Here, I did not make it to be for an open door or an open slot area, but if you want to make you a little small slot area out of this, you can. I'm not gonna be doing any cutting in that area. I'm gonna go ahead and get my left and right panels on. The rest of the board is only gonna be room enough for one panel, so I'm gonna cut one of these panels away if you had a board that was large enough for both, I would leave both on. All right, so now I'm about to start on cutting off the out the shells. When you receive your template, it will show on here which shelf is the bottom shelf. So here is the bottom shelf. This will be the middle shelf here. And here will be the top of the vending machine. So when cutting out your shelves, make sure you remember which shelf is for what because they are different sizes. And then if you're unable for certain, know which shelf is which, just put them together and line them up. The bottom shelf is always gonna be larger than the middle shelf. And of course, the top of the vending machine is gonna be the largest of all of them. And sometimes with the top vending machine shelf, I have it a different color than the actual shelves. So let's start off with the top of the vending machine. Actually, I'm going to start off with the, I'm going to start off with the um, actual shelves themselves. 
try not to cut too much of the image off because you do want to leave a border right here i cut off too much all right because you want to leave room for cutting so don't cut this close all right you want to have some room left over like a border All right, so I now have the shelves cut out. And as you can tell, if you can tell, this bottom bottom shelf is larger than this top shelf here. So this is how you're gonna tell just in case you um, cut your shelves and you're unsure which shelf is which, the largest of the shelf will be the bottom. Let's go ahead and cut out the top of the vending machine. And I did mention earlier that you are going to need one and a half foam boards for this here project. Just go ahead and count two, two full whole board, uh, foam boards. All right, so now that we have completed cutting out the top shelf, the middle shelf and the bottom shelf, we can go ahead and start gluing it, hot gluing it together. If you decide that you want to do two middle shelves because you want to do like maybe two rows, three rows, all you have to do is take your already cut out shelf, put it on your foam board and just line it up and cut it from there. So let's see if I have enough space on this one, and I do. So I'm gonna cut out another shelf. And this, you would do the same thing too. Don't worry about this here shelf not having an image on the um, top, because you can basically use this here cutout shelf that you're doing and that can be at the bottom to where it's not going to be seen no way let's go ahead all right so basically that's how you would make an extra shelf See what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my back of the vending machine and flip it in the front. I'm going to take my size at this point. If they do not have any markings or anything on them, it's not going to matter whether or not it's the left or the right side. You just want to make sure that you gluing them on the right way. So the right way would be the design facing outward. So here's the back. You want to make sure that your machine is facing, your um, side panels are facing outwards. You will be gluing directly on top of the back of the vending machine. You're not going to be gluing on the sides. Uh, shelves is not made for the side panels to be on the outside. It's going to fit perfectly the way they need to be. So here's the outside. You don't want that because once you put your shelves on like this, and this is gonna be the middle shelf. And then you put this shelf here, this side here on. All right, it's not gonna, let's see, it's not gonna connect. So on top, and you wanna make sure you get your the smoothest cut at the bottom. So I'm gonna place it down. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna hot glue here on the edge of the panels and also on the edge of the back of the vending machine. You wanna make sure you hurry up with this process because the glue will dry fast.
once you get your size on there and I want to see because I want to make sure I'm on edge to edge just go ahead and hold it down firmly for about a minute In the inside, I am going to add some hot glue here along the borders. And I'm just going to take some of this full paper and I'm just going to kind of don't touch the glue because it is hot. I'm just going to all right, you can skip this part if you totally like. But you don't do it with your fingers. Want to make sure that you have something to kind of spread it on there. All right, so basically I just used a piece of plastic. Now basically I'm going to do the other side the same way. If you see any glue coming from out the side, still take like a, some type of plastic and kind of go over it as well because you don't want a lot of glue seen as well on the outside. Same thing for the inside. I'm going to grab another glue stick. All right, so now for the bottom shelf, I do notice that one end of the shelf is fitting perfect in there. But, all right, so right here, let me see if I can put it at an angle so you can see it. All right, so this shelf is right where it needs to be. But for some reason, this one is sticking up a tad bit. So it's like, look like it's going in at an angle. So I am gonna cut, um, trim a, a little bit of the shelf off. And then if you run into that same situation, make sure you just trim a little bit off. And I do see like up in here, I did leave a little, um, a little white on, but that should have made a big difference. So just, if you need to just cut off, just a little bit of the uh, top of the shelf so that you can get a snug fit. So actually y'all, I see what's going on. Like right here on the inside, I see where there is like some glue here. You're not going to be able to see it, I don't think, but it's like some glue right here. So it's kind of sticking up a little bit. That's what made the shelf uneven. So if you run into that situation, like I said, just 
um, shave off some of that area to accommodate for a little bit of that glue that's sticking out. Also, when you're doing your bottom shelf, go ahead and flip the shelf outside. So you want your shelf to be seen from the bottom on the outside. So we're gonna do it like this. So let's put some glue here. Glue here. This way, and glue here again, here, and here. Okay, so this is how the bottom should look. Then let's go ahead and add our other shelves inside. So before I add my other shelf, I do wanna get an idea as far as where my window is. So once I put my top on, So I know right around this here area, I want to put my other shelf. So that's going to be approximately, and I'm, I'm measuring from the panels and not the feet. I'm going to bring that shelf at about three inches up from the panel. So from three inches up to about right here. And I'm not counting three inches from the feet, I'm counting three inches above the panel. But it's totally up to you where you wanna place yours. But that's the idea that I have in mind for my shelf. Being that I am going to do another shelf, I do want my shelf um, printed to be printed on both sides. Let's see. I will be sending with your template uh, the templates with the shelves along just in case you want to make a larger, um, If just in case you want to make two two shelves and you want both of them to be printed so that's what i'm gonna do because i think it looks a little better way better than just having that one blank shelf okay so check your files for that second shelf so i went on and decided to print out um two two more shelves i'm only going to use one i just want to fill up the whole paper just in case i decide to do another one so i already have an extra middle shelf this is going to be printed out on 11 by 17 inch glossy photo paper. I did not use the 13 by 19 sheets for this. And to be... So, actually, 
You can basically print your shelves out and your size out on, let's see. So actually you can print out your shelves and your panels on 11 by 17 inch paper, but the front and the back is gonna for sure have to be printed out on the 13 by 19 inch paper. So I'm gonna put that to the side. I did wanna test out to see whether or not this um, art glitter glue will hold because of course this doesn't have an adhesive backing. So you're gonna have to put your own adhesive backing if you choose to do that route. But what I am gonna do right now is just cut out one of these shelves and just use that other shelf I've already cut out for the uh, example. But being that I've already have a piece of foam board cut out, I'm just gonna glue it on. So that's why I cut so close like I did just then. I'm gonna see if this here glue holds it. All right, y'all, so far so good. I have that other image done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put these shelves into the vending machine. I'm gonna put one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that together. Make sure them shelves are straight. And again, the same thing. You want to press push down and hold it together. And then I'm going to add some hot glue on the bottom. I got a shelf, this shelf right here. I'm going to say it might have been cut too small. I'm just adding some glue on the arm ends. So for the bottom shelves, I'm going to only suggest that you put maybe your heaviest items there because now you want to go ahead and reinforce it with some foam. And this is just going to basically give it some type of support, help help uh, support your shelves uh, when you put your heavy items in. This is for sure optional. If you're not going to put heavy shelves in, I wouldn't, uh, heavy items in, I wouldn't worry about it. But you want to put it right underneath them shelves where they, I'm just going to cut a tad bit more off.
And I got the idea to do this here from Kelly um, Nicole. can see it I'm just gonna reinforce it with a little bit of hot glue at the bottom so that it doesn't shift and move all around So these are going to be some battery operated lights on clear string. It has three actual three functions and you pull that tab out so that you can be able to work those functions. So you have a fast flashing, a slow flashing and steady. So I always like to check my lights before I put them in to make sure they are working. So basically what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add my lights on this side. So I'm just gonna poke a hole with my knife. I'm gonna do the same thing for this here middle shelf. All right, so as you can tell right there, I want to run that light through just so that you can be able to see the hole where the light coming in and out. See how small it is. And just basically pull it through. All right, so for our second shelf, I'm going to put it right about up in this area. Want to make sure your shelves are straight. I'm going to get my top to kind of get an idea of where it is and y'all actually that bottom shelf i think i'm gonna bring that a little further down because i don't want you to be able to see the inside bottom so i am gonna um hot glue that shelf a little further down so i don't want to see the bottom the only thing you should be seeing through that window is the shelf itself but so the other one I'm gonna put right up in here. So the other shelf I am going to let's see get a smaller bottle because I didn't make this to be a tall shelf. I'm gonna do something short and simple. All right, so I'm gonna put that water and let's see how much of the top we'll be able to see after that. All right, so I'm gonna come down. Just a tad bit. How about right there? Okay. So basically, I'm just going to hot glue this shelf here. But before I hot glue that shelf, I am going to make a hole for my lights before I glue this shelf on. And basically, let's make sure. I'm gonna go right here in this corner here and just cut out like a little 
square. the lights to stay to the top I'm just going to get some tape and tape them down all right so once I get my lights taped down like I want now I'm going to glue this to the top down making sure it is straight in the inside All right, y'all, so base, basically this is like um, your basic setup for the vending machine. Make sure when you fill your treats up to get them to stay, you're gonna wanna use some um, nano, nano double-sided adhesive tape or some really heavy duty type acrylic tape so that you can place at the bottom of your treat and then stick them to your shelving so they don't move. I won't be filling this one up today. This is just, just about doing the vending machine itself, the template. All right, so I am gonna glue the Get it here and add glue to the ends. top and you for sure want to make sure you press down on here so that you can get a good seal with that top I'm going to reinforce those that top shelf here with some hot glue in them corners. All right, so this is gonna be like the basic way to when, when you fill it, you glue your top on, and the only way they're gonna have to be able to get their treats that's inside if they tear open that top or kind of punch a hole through the um, window. But I am on part two of this vending machine. I am gonna show you how to make a functional door. So I may wind up cutting the feet off on part two. For one, to give you a look and view to see how it is without the feet. And because it's gonna be hard to open your door without it being a type of support there. All right, so stay tuned for part two. But basically, this is all you have to do. Fill it up, pull your top on. But I'm gonna be extra, so that's why we're gonna have a part two to this. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe so you do not miss, miss the next video.